In problem number 27 of section 4.1, we're given a differential equation with two solutions, and we're asked to verify that those two solutions are, in fact, solutions. So start out with uh, y1, and just to make things a little easier, let's compute uh, its derivatives. So take y1 uh, prime of x will be equal to negative 4 c e to the negative 4x, uh, y1 double prime of x will be equal to uh, plus 16 c e to the negative 4x. And now we can just use this information and substitute it back into the original differential equation and see if it is in fact equal to zero. So well, our first term will be uh, 16 c e to the negative 4x plus, um, here we'll have 8 times y1 prime, so we'll have negative 8 times 4, negative 32 uh, c e to the negative 4x. And finally, we'll have 16y, which is 16 times, uh, or 16y1, rather, 16 times c e to the negative 4x. Um, this is just equal to, well, 16 plus 16 is 32, minus 32 is 0. So we see that y1 is, in fact, a solution. Um, next, let's look at... Uh, y2, and we'll start out again by computing its derivatives. Uh, this will be a little bit trickier because we have an x here, so we'll need to use the product rule a couple times. But uh, first derivative will just be k. Now let's um, keep the x there, take the derivative of the second term. So I'll have e to the negative 4x with a negative 4 coming out from the chain rule. And we'll add uh, k e to the negative 4x times the derivative of x with respect to x, which is just 1. So that's the first derivative. Now the second derivative will be uh, negative 4 times the derivative of kx e to the negative 4x, negative 4. But you'll see kx e or kx e to the negative 4x is just y2, so we can have, this is just going to be 4 times uh, y2 prime of x plus, well, actually minus 4 times k e to the negative 4x. And if we expand this, we get negative 4 uh, times negative 4, so positive 16. K x e to the negative 4x and negative 4 times the second term of y2 prime, which is going to be negative 4 k e to the negative 4x. And finally, minus 4k e to the negative 4x. And that is the final expression for the second derivative um, of y with respect to x. So now we substitute this back into our equation here. And we have y2 double prime, so we have minus 4k uh, x e to the negative 4x plus k e to the negative 4x. Uh, excuse me, that's the first derivative. We want to write the second derivative here. So this will be 16 kx e to the negative 4x minus 4k e to the negative 4x minus 4k 
e to the negative 4x. Or just combine this and make that negative 8k e to the negative 4x. And we'll add 8 times the first derivative. So we'll have 8 times negative 4 is negative 32kx e to the negative 4x. And uh, 8 times uh, second term will be plus 8k e to the negative 4x. And finally, we'll add 16 times the function itself. So 16y2 is 16k e to the negative 4x. All right, so a little bit of a mess here, but let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. Uh, excuse me, this should be 16k x e to the negative 4x. So here we have a 16, let's look at first at the kx e to the negative 4x terms. We have 16 minus 32 and a positive 16, so that's going to be equal to 0. And our k e to the negative 4x term, uh, terms are going to be negative 8 and plus 8, so also equal to 0. So we see that um, y2 is in fact also a solution since substituting it into the original differential equation gives us uh, a result of zero.